Louisiana Beer Reviews 4 in Hand IPA with, by request from Swilling Grog, Popeye's Chicken Spicy Lunch. A little late lunch, about 1.45. usually eat around 11.45. Okay. I don't know why Swilling Grog wanted to see Popeye's Chicken, but he must be a fan of it. Popeye's Chicken is good. I think Church's Chicken is a little better value. It's a little cheaper and you get bigger pieces. But anyway, there you go. Got some coleslaw and a biscuit with it. Already prayed. This is a store brand IPA, okay? It's a winery exchange brand. It's brewed for the Whole Foods market, all right? It gets low ratings on Rate Beer with only 27 reviews. It gets an average rating on Beer Advocate with only 22 reviews, so it's not widely known. It's a 60 IBU rating and a 6.3% alcohol uh, rating. It uses pale crystal and caramel barley malts, and it uses CZT, Chinook, Willamette, and Golden Hops. And there's three other, there's three beer brands that Winery Exchange has that have the same specs. So it's the same beer in different uh, bottle designs. Cool looking bottle though. I don't know how this is going to be and I guess it'll be alright. I don't know. About to find out. Never had it before. A lot of smoke. It's not expensive. I think it's like I don't know. Five dollars a six pack, if that, maybe something like that. Okay, uh, twist cap. You have a pretty thin, slightly off white head, it'd be thicker in a thinner glass, and a clear amber appearance. So, well, I say clear, but now that I'm looking at it, it is hazy. It's a brilliant, that's a better description, a brilliant amber appearance but it's hazy. Let's go with the smell test. <sighs> Very subdued aroma. I'm comparing this in my mind to the other IPA I have in the fridge, the Sierra Nevada Celebration Ale. So the aroma is subdued and maybe a little bit of sweetness and grain. That's really it. Now we'll go with the taste. It's hop forward. It's pretty bitter being a 60 IBU. It's sweet. You can pick up the alcohol with it though. You pick up that booze. With, you don't pick it up with the uh, Sierra Nevada. The chicken's good, but this is not the spicy. This is just regular. Can't these fast food restaurants ever do anything right? I mean, every now and then they'll get your order correct. It's good. Juicy. Popeyes has a tendency to be a little bit on the greasy side, however. Well, it's not bad. It's a heartbreaker not having it spicy, though. Mm -hmm. It's too much of a hassle to bring it back, though. I mean, it's still good. I mean, anyway, Popeye's spicy is hardly spicy anymore. Back in the 1970s, it was you had regular and hot, and it was hot. It would set you on fire. But then when, when they became a national company in 1989 they started toning down and now it's just mildly spicy kind of like beer you know it goes mass market and it they start toning down the flavor and aroma notes or at least we think that it's medium bodied it's easy drink and the finishes relatively crisp and refreshing a 
get some sweetness, some barley malt, some caramel. Well, it's worth trying. I mean, I give this a B minus. It's good, but just just so. You know, it's barely good. It's just what it is. It's a cheap store brand beer. And it's a cheap store brand IPA beer. So it is what it is. If you want to try it, go ahead and you'll probably sort of like it. All right. I'm going to end these, this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans and go to the LSU football game.